Hey, have you ever wondered how just placing parentheses after functions and methods tells the interpreter that they are being called? What exactly happens internally when we add parentheses after functions and methods in Python? Well, that's where the dunder call comes into play. See, when we invoke a function, we simply use the function name with parentheses like this, right? This notifies the interpreter that a function is being called. Internally, it is equivalent to this expression because functions in Python are objects and the dunder call is what gets executed when the function is invoked. So when we call a function in Python, the interpreter executes the dunder call method of the function object behind the scenes. Here is an example justifying the theory. In this example, the call method of the function is executed with the required arguments. This will produce the same result as the first one. Okay, understood. Obviously, we won't be using it, and who in the world will go for the long syntax, leaving the traditional method? So the question is where should we use it? C. We can make instances of a class call label, like functions by defining the call method. Here's a simple example. By defining dunder call, instances of the greeter class can be used like functions. When we use this, it actually calls greeter.call with the argument Alice. Now let's look at a real life example where dunder call can be particularly useful. Imagine we're creating a simple API client that automatically logs every request made. We can use the dunder call method to achieve this. Here, our API client class uses dunder call to handle requests. When we call the instance of our API client class, client, it makes a get request to the API, logs the request, and returns the response. So that's where we can use the dunder call in Python. I hope you found this video informative and enjoyable. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe for more Python goodness. Thanks for watching and happy coding.